Uh, hey there everybody, just doing a review for this Flex Solar 40 watt flexible solar panel. Um, and so yeah, definitely not the uh, strongest solar panel that you can buy, but you know what, it's just a um, really small, portable, lightweight solar panel um, in case you need one. It does have a um, USB-C port and a USB-A port as well as a DC5521 port right over here. So you know, three ports to use to charge your devices. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be testing it out in this uh, review. As you can see, these are the specifications. The uh, USB-A port has a quick charge um, output. So I mean, it's able to output at uh, 18 watts. The uh, DC5521 port is able to output about like 40 watts. Same thing for the USB-C power delivery port. Um, I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Yeah, so I mean, the USB-C port is able to output 40 watts. I'm going to be testing that out as well. I'm um, just opening up the uh, solar panel right over here. Um, so I mean, it's... Uh, pretty large in terms of like when you open it up <laughs> and so yeah I mean there it is all opened up right there and uh, yeah sorry about the mess I'm on the table and just taking a look at the manual so I mean what you get in the box is the uh, manual and these two carabiners um, this is the box right over here that the solar panel comes in um, yeah pretty useful box I gotta say it just tells you a few uh, specifications over the back is where the specifications are actually and uh, so yeah, there we go. There are the specifications. It does have a IP67 water resistance rating. So uh, that means that the solar panel can practically withstand rain. It can actually withstand um, submersion into water, I believe. IP67, I think that's what it means. It, it can like survive one meter into water, I think. Um, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's what IP67 means. Um, I'll, I'll just double check and yeah, I'll, I'll like edit the video with some text just to like confirm um, if that's true or not. But uh, yeah, it does come with a um, manual, these two carabiners, and just taking a look at the manual real quick in terms of the size. So when you have the uh, solar panel closed up, it does have a, oh man, that text is really small. It does have a 8 by 11.1 .1 inch form factor. Um, when you have the uh, solar panel open up all the way, it does have a 11.1 .1 by 48.8 inch uh, form factor. So yeah, there we go. There are the specifications again in case you want to take a look at them. This is a monocrystalline solar panel, I mean, in case you're in case you were curious about that. And uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna head on outside. Oh my god, my cat! <laughs> and so yeah, I'm just gonna head on outside. It is it is a sunny day, thankfully. That's one of the reasons why I'm like speaking so quickly right now. It's because I don't want the sun to go down. And um, so yeah, let's head on outside. I'm gonna be um trying to recharge this uh EcoFlow River Two. Oh man, my cat. I'm going to try to recharge this uh, EcoFlow uh, River 2 power station as well as this uh, Flashfish uh, power station. And also I'm going to um, recharge this uh, Vigor Pool uh, power station right over here to see how that performs using the uh, solar panel. Um, and also I'll try to recharge my Lenovo laptop as well using this uh, Flex solar panel. And uh, just see what's capable of, you know, 40 watts of, uh, you know, 40 watt solar panel isn't exactly breaking any limits, but we're going to see what it's capable of. And uh, so yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So test number one. Sorry, it's windy. So if you can't hear me, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, test number one. I'm charging my uh, Galaxy Note 9 right over here from the uh, USB-C port, and it is uh, fast charging. And I've got practically full sun exposure on this uh, Flex Solar uh, solar panel. And so yeah, I mean, um, the USB-C port is able to fast charge probably probably most Android smartphones. And uh, there it is. Let me move on to charging a um, probably the uh, River 2 power station, and I will be right back with that. All right, you guys. So just back with the uh, Flex Solar um, solar panel. And so I did try to charge the um, River 2 power station, but it didn't start charging like at all. Like I couldn't get it to charge from the uh, USB-C port. It is able to recharge from. So I just uh, grabbed my Lenovo laptop to see if that was going to be able to recharge. And it is, it's charging at about like 2 watts, 2.5 watts. I'm not sure if you're going to see that or not. But yeah, it is charging at about 2.5 2 watts. Um, honestly, I mean, this, this solar panel isn't meant for charging laptops. Um, you know, I would stick to charging either um, phones or maybe power stations. I know in this case, I'm not able to recharge the River 2 power station. But let me grab my uh, uh, Lake 300 power station to see if that's able to uh, recharge. Um, from the USB-C port on this uh, solar panel, but uh, yeah, I mean, charging for this Lenovo, charging for this um, Lenovo laptop does work, even though it's charging incredibly slowly. And I will be right back with the uh, Lake 300 power station to see how that performs. 
All right, you guys, so just back with the Lake 300 power station. Um, I do have my solar panel at an angle now well, using these chairs right over here. Um, you know, this is a much better way to capture sunlight, have the sun um, hit the panels, you know, to get higher wattage output. And that's kind of what's happening right here with the Lake 300 power station. Um, so, I mean, it does keep going um, down and up with its uh, wattage input. However, it is, it is able to go up to about like 26 watts, as you can see, but it just drops right back down to 0% occasionally. Not too sure why that's happening. So yeah, definitely having these solar panels at an angle for a better sun exposure is a must with these solar panels to make the most of them, in my opinion, because that's exactly what's happening right here. But uh, yeah, that's what's happening right there. Um, let me go ahead and test out the Lenovo laptop one more time to see if I'm able to get a faster recharge speed because the uh, panels are at an angle right now. Um, so yeah, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so just back charging my Lenovo laptop with the solar panels at an angle for a better sun exposure. And uh, thankfully, the charging speed for the Lenovo laptop is actually quite a bit faster. It's charging at about 7.6 watts, and I can just get an angle. Not too sure if you guys can see that, but yeah, it does say 7.6 watts right there. Um, definitely a big improvement from the uh, 2.5 watts that I did have it charging at when the uh, solar panels were flat on the floor. So if you're going to be uh, getting a solar panel, have those panels at an angle for that uh, better sun exposure and you're going to be able to use more of the uh, wattage and, you know, get more out of it basically. Um, I did try to charge the River 2 power station again. Um, it was able to start charging at about like 22 watts and then it's just stopped charging. I'm not too sure why, uh, but that's what's happening right there. And uh, yeah, there we go. That is the charging for the Flex Solar 40 watt solar panel. Just take a closer look at the panels right there. There they are. All right, you guys, so uh, it is good to be back inside because it is windy and cold outside. So yeah, anyways, my final thoughts about this uh, Flex Solar uh, 40 watt solar panel is that it's mainly meant for charging phones, tablets, and maybe laptops because I was able to fast charge um, my Galaxy Note 9. You would probably be able to fast charge most um, uh, tablets. Uh, and you know, with charging my Lenovo laptop, I was able to get a 7.5 watt charging speed when I placed the uh, solar panel at an angle for a better sun exposure. Um, when it came to charging like these two power stations right over here, um, you know, charging was uh, pretty un underwhelming, just simply because the 40 watt solar panel wasn't strong enough to supply power uh, to them. And so, you know, my recommendation is to stick to those smaller devices when it comes to uh, charging with this uh, Flex Solar um, 40 watt solar panel. That's mainly what it's for. Um, you know, a 40 watt solar panel like this is also pretty inexpensive as well. I think over on Amazon, it's like 70 something. And down in the description below, I will leave a product page link um, for this uh, solar panel, as well as a link to the review article in case you want to read a review for it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, overall, just a simple, a 40 watt solar panel that's like pretty large as well you know you get a large um form factor to capture as much as much sunlight as you can but but you know once again that 40 watts um of uh, output power isn't exactly too much to charge these type of larger um devices in my opinion that's at least with my testing i know i know in other uh, youtube reviews other people are like charging power stations uh, using the solar panel but it's just not really made for that it's going to be really slow you're going to get a slow uh, charging speed but you know if you get this uh, solar panel um with the uh intention of charging you know those smaller devices like a like a phone that's where this uh, solar panel excels at the most that's like I, I honestly would take this somewhere to charge my phone with and it, it and it would perform really well and also the charging ports match up with the uh, power output because you because you get a 40 watt power delivery port and a usb type a port that's a quick charge port and uh, so yeah uh, those are my thoughts on the Flex Solar 40 watt solar panel, and I will see you all on next video. All right, goodbye.